In today's show, we're going to talk about Power App settings. That's what we're going to talk about. Advanced settings, we're going to talk about preview features and experimental features and deprecated features and just kind of make sure you understand all those little settings and kind of how they play into both new apps and into existing apps. Should be fun. Should be fast. But first, here's our intro. Hi, my name is Shane Young with Power Apps 911. Those guys. And today, we're going to talk about Power App settings. So the idea here is that there's all these little settings over there, right? There's the experimental, the preview, the deprecated. And I just want to kind of make sure you guys, A, are exposed to where they're at. B, like why sometimes they're checked and sometimes they're not. And then just how to think about them in general. So nothing too complicated, just kind of an overview to kind of wrap our heads around all these things. All right, let's just switch over to my desktop and take a look. Over here on the desktop, I wanted to start by creating a new app. I think that's the best place to kind of start our base here. So we're just going to create real quick, Canvas app. I'm going to type in a bunch of random characters because what I do, I have to create an app quickly and then say create. All right, and after a few seconds, it drops us in here. And if you're thinking of Shane, why are you doing this? Because what I want you to understand is that what we're going to see in this list is going to be different depending on where the app comes from. So to that end, let's go back over here for a second. Let's go back to apps. Let's scroll way back in history, right? I've made hundreds, thousands, millions, I don't know, a gazillion apps. I'm still scrolling, peeps. Still going. All right, let's do down here. Two years ago, I made one called Random Function Test. I have no idea what this app does. It doesn't matter. I want to edit this app because we're going to compare and contrast in a second. So let that load. Okay, so over here, if you didn't know, if you click on File, and then under Settings, we have Advanced Settings. And so Advanced Settings is a whole bunch of stuff, and I want to talk through this. These first ones here under the title advanced settings, these are going to be settings that are in your app, right? So these are advanced things you can do in your app, like change the amount of delegation records from one to 2000, right? So you have a control, it defaults at 500. You know, it is what it is. Um, improved data source experience. So do you want to use the new CDS stuff? You do, but you got to have that turned on. Uh, do you want to do the debugging stuff, the new things in Monitor? Well, if you want to do that, you got to turn it on because it loads a bunch of extra stuff. And so they're saying, hey, you got to kind of consent to that. So, so these are just normal settings that are at, you know, production level, right? So then you get down here and you have these other things. So you have these things called preview features. So these are features that are up and coming. These will be production, will be rolled into the product just permanently sooner than later. But right now, Microsoft still says, hey, for whatever reason, we haven't fully released these yet. Like we feel good about them. We feel they're secure, they're stable. I'm even okay with you using them in your production apps. Um, but until you know they move out of this stage, technically they're still in preview. So you probably shouldn't, but I, I do, right? Because these are features that you want. Um, now I take that back, right? With these, I think these are safe even for a production app. Now, what's interesting about these is you notice this is where I did the new app, and you notice they're all turned on. This is how we know that they're safe, right? Microsoft said, hey, if you're starting a new app, I would turn these on. But if we switch over here to our old friend, right, the one from the 1800s, and we say File, and then go to Settings here and Advanced Settings, notice that most of these preview features are turned off, right? Layout containers are off. I mean, basically almost all of them. So what does that tell us? This menu is the same in every Power App, but what is turned on is not, right? So if you start a new app, this is where Microsoft says, hey, we are comfortable with you starting a new app with all these things on. But in my old app, I don't want to just have these things turned on because they could break stuff. You know. So things like adding layout containers, not going to hurt my app. But if I go in here and do explicit column selections, that is going to change how Power Apps loads collections. And if I was relying on the old methodology for collections to work and I go to this new methodology, it could literally break my app. So turning this on could be dangerous. So that's why they don't just flip this on for me in old apps. Um, column display names, right? That changes the way your formulas are, the syntax of your formulas. This could break things. You would use GUID data types instead of strings. This freaked out a bunch of my apps. We had to do this when we switched from CDS version one or so from CDS version two into the new native CDS, right? I had to turn this on in a bunch of apps and one of my apps, I got 700 errors after I flipped the switch, but that was the path because you have to have this on in order to use this. Now, what's interesting about this one though, right? So like you see, um, use GUID data type instead of strings. If we go over here under experimental features, it is not here. 
Why? So this is an example of one of these, and this is important to note as well. Some of these preview features you can't turn off. So if I flip this one on, it takes effect. There is no being like, oh man, I didn't like what that did, turning it off. This one's like a permanent change. Whereas if I turn on explicit column selections, I can turn that back off if I don't like what it did to my app. So you need to be careful as you go flipping these on in old apps. But other than that, like in a brand new app, they should all be on and they feel, they feel nice, right? There's a lot of great stuff here. Um, it's also very interesting, like you noticed delayed load. So this one was a preview feature, right? It's turned on, so it's, I was just, this was on two years ago when I created this app. So that one's been in preview for a long time. Some of them live in preview for their whole lives, I feel like. Others kind of come and go, like layout containers will get out of preview, you know, this year. Delayed load will probably still be here in four years from now. What do you do? Okay, so back over here, the new one. Um, other than that, you know, just know these are here. I like to kind of stick my head over here periodically and read through the list and see if Microsoft snuck out something new. It's very unusual for them to announce, they probably announced maybe 10% of these in their blogs. They just kind of show up one day and you have to wait, oh, do I like that? Do I want to use that? I like this SQL one. This SQL connector does a lot of great stuff and really deals with the shortcomings of the old SQL connector, especially around like dates and times. But guess what? You turn it on in an old app, Woo, you're gonna rewrite a bunch of SQL. So just be careful, right? It, they can cause you some challenges, okay? So that is preview features. Safe, and you know, if you ever wonder, right, just start a new app, make, are they turned on by default? All right, I feel cool about that. So then we have experimental features. So these are features that can be on the way up or the way down. These are not necessarily going to make it to production one day. They may stay here forever, they may be just, done away with, right? Like the enhanced formula bar, I, it's terrible. It, it, you should turn it on and try it out. It is borderline unusable in my opinion, but it was good, right? Microsoft put it here, I turned it on. I was like, I can't use this thing. I provided them the feedback, they're like, cool. I, I sent them like 10 pages of feedback. And so it's like, we get that and they're gonna work through that before it moves up, right? So, so that was a cool thing about getting in there and messing with it. Um, this enhanced component properties. I really want to do a video on this, but I'm not going to show you guys this one in a video until it moves up the stack because experimental features can also change fundamentally. What does that mean? Like it might be that, you know, we use this enhanced component properties and we get all the syntax, we write all those complicated formulas. And then when it goes from uh, experimental to preview, it could be like, boom, it is completely different. Rewrite all your formulas, right? That, that Microsoft warns you that is possible. So I don't want people investing in this one until it moves up a notch. But once it moves up a notch, whew, we're gonna have some fun with that thing. You know, or things like this, enhanced performance for hidden controls. Hidden controls will not be created until they become visible. I kind of like that from a performance standpoint, but in some of our solutions, like our SharePoint upload one, we use a hidden image control to do some of our dirty work, right? Well, then it wouldn't be there, it wouldn't be used so I probably don't want to turn that one on in that app. So lots of things here you should read. They're often around performance, new functionality. They give you an idea of kind of what's coming. But for the most part, I do not try to use these in production apps. And then last but not least, deprecated features. Um, so here you can see enable rules. If you, you probably didn't even know Power Apps once upon a time had this rules engine thing that literally zero people ever used. So Microsoft deprecated it and we're just waiting on it to finally fall off this list. <laughs> Do not go turn that on if you're not using it today. That would be a bad use of your time. But you get the idea, right? So we've got these different things in here. The other thing I didn't mention is with some of these, when you turn them on or off, you have to um, leave the app. I'm trying to find one that has an example of that so you can see it. I think this one does. Oh, so here we go. here's one, right? So debug published apps. So if you enable or disable this feature, save and publish your app for it to take effect. So just keep that in mind is sometimes they give you a little like, if you wanna use this one, you gotta do something else. You know, up here, uh, if you wanted to turn this one on in an old app, you gotta take out all your common data service connections, turn them, so take those all out, turn this on, and then reestablish those connections to use the new plumbing. Um, so not, doesn't come up too often, but every now and then you will see that. So just make sure you read all the text, right? They hide those, uh, they hide that stuff cleverly on the screen. So check all that out. But yeah, so that's the different ones. I just wanted you guys to get this overview. 
I know a lot of you had questions about these. You're always like, what are they? What should I be doing with them? So there you go. Now you have my opinion on all of it. As always, if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Always happy to answer those. And if not, I guess I'll just say thanks and have a great day. Before you go, be sure to click on the subscribe button over here so that way you'll be notified when new videos come out. If you need any help or you want to work together, whether your problem is big or small, check us out at Power Apps 911. We do it all. I rhymed. Or if you're looking for more formal training offerings, we have those linked up here somewhere. So check them out. Thanks and have a great day.